everyone welcome to my youtube channel again in this video we'll see practically how in search of sort work i'll write the program and uh, we'll see the output step by step first of all let's see how in search and sort execute oh, uh, we have this array and uh, at starting we point the first index of the array and we just compare on uh, to the left side uh, of the array and we just check whether our right side uh, index means our current index is uh, greater than uh, to the left index uh, if it is then we swipe uh, both of these value and uh, in the next step of uh, uh, the execution we will take the uh, next element means this time we will take second uh, index and we will uh, check with uh, both of uh, left side of index first index and uh, both index of the array. Next time we'll take third index and we'll compare it uh, with the all of left element. And uh, if it uh, is small, then uh, we'll uh, swipe accordingly. Also, we'll take uh, a key that will uh, store the value of current index as temporary. Since uh, we are swiping the values and uh, like uh, if uh, uh, at last will uh, give the our temporary store value in in the last index so let's see all of this uh, thing uh, with the program so uh, here I had created a uh, insertion short uh, HTML file I had created a script tag let's uh, quickly make uh, a function insertion sort example This will be example camel case, and uh, I'm going to create an arrow function for this. I'll like take uh, an sorted array. For this, I'm giving the value of five four three two one, and let's uh, console dot log. I'm going to use in here unsorted array. And uh, it is um, you know passing the value of unsorted array here. Uh, just call this function in some sort of example. Call this one. Save this file and uh, let's uh, move to our browser. Refresh it. Inside console you will able to see uh, the unsorted array is five four three two one. Now I'm going to create a function for insert and short. So const uh, this is insertion short. It will take a parameter. This is the array. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just create a loop for i equal to one, as uh, uh, our array has only one index I mean to say it has only one element like it's it's a zero then we uh, do not need to further compare with uh, uh, like uh, array containing only one element so it is already sorted so that's why I'm uh, start my pointer from the first index of the array and it will go to the array dot length like array, uh, our array has the length of five. Then uh, this loop will execute to one to four. Uh, when I become five, the condition become false, and increment the value by one i plus plus. And uh, I'm going to use a key let key equal to which holds the temporary value of current index of uh, array into i. And also I'm going to take another variable which will be i minus 1 <clears throat> that will point to the left index of the array now while c is greater than equal to 0 means c is pointing to the, to the left index as compared to the i when the index becomes 0 means value, value of j becomes 0 
that just terminate the execution of while loop and also I'm going to compare error into J is greater than key like key is uh, holding the value of current index and array into J holding the value of I minus 1 so it will just compare whether current index is greater or less than uh, greater than with the left index or less than with the left index this statement state that whether the left index is greater than the right index and it will uh, execute the loop one by one so let uh, take the array into if the condition both of condition are true then array into j plus one is equal to the array into j means if left uh, index is greater than its uh, right index nearest right index then just swap the value of this uh, to the right also decrement the value of j minus one and at last what i'm going to do when uh, j become minus one so j plus one is equal to key like at last at the last i'm gonna insert j plus one value to the right is equal to the key and just return the array copy this line and uh, give it name of uh, shorted array which is insertion sort and pass the argument over and sort it over here just to execute the this ones and we'll see all of this process by the beginning there you will able to see first of all we have unsorted array 5 4 3 2 1 then uh, we have the sorted array 1 2 3 4 5 let's debug all of the code give me a second I just make the breakpoint first of all our for loop also for key and with our while loop also see the value of array into i j plus one just refresh this statement first of all you will able to see we have the array of five four three two one this is our unsorted array and uh, now our program is executed inside the loop it came inside the loop at starting key became a uh, key is undefined but i'm um, assigning it the value of array into i i is holding the value of one means first index of the r i it means key will hold the value of four and j will hold the value of i minus one means zero i move the cursor you can see key is holding value of j 4 and j is holding 0 now condition is j greater than or equal to 0 yeah that's true and array into j that into j means 5 is greater than key it's 5 greater than 4 yeah that's condition is true it will move inside the loop what it will do it will do 0 plus 1 it means it will give the value of 5 to the first index of the array there you can see now the array become five five three two one now it decrements j uh, by one now j become minus one and the condition become false it terminated the loop and uh, came outside now it give j plus one means minus one plus one is equal to the key means the uh, first uh, uh, oath index of the array become the four now there you can see the four five three two one this is our array now uh, this will uh, execute again now I become two and key become uh, three as three is second index of our array so and uh, J become two minus one is equal to one now J is greater than zero yeah condition is true and one is 5 is greater than 3. Yeah, both of conditions are true.
now it will execute the loop and it just swap the value 5 there now it will check again j become now 0 this 4 is greater than 3 3 is our key which is temporary a key holding the temporary value of our current index of i now j become minus 1 it will move outside the loop and j plus 1 means 0 index of the array become the 3 there you can see the loop 4 or 3 4 5 and 2 and 1 so this uh, will this process will execute again and again and uh, till the i be i became equal to the length of the array then uh, it will terminate its execution and uh, till we get all of the uh, alignment of the array in the sorted form so just uh, i just remove all of the debugging point all of uh, i think uh, all of you have got the point uh, what uh, how actually it works so if i execute it and move to our console it become one two three four five so that's all for today's video i hope you will enjoy the video and if you enjoyed then please like the video also if you are new then subscribe my channel thank you